time in my class, we had a competition, a Kaggle competition, where we gave students tweets from the president, Trump, and they had to identify if these tweets were tweeted from a iPhone or an Android phone. And the hypothesis was that maybe uh, the president himself uses an Android and his uh, staff members use an Android phone, um, or an iPhone. And so um, if these are really different people tweeting under the same account, then we could train a classifier to differentiate between the two. So what we did is we made this leaderboard, and I actually submitted my own submission. Where am I? Down here. Initially, the leaderboard was just me, and the game was the following. I gave myself five minutes to submit something, and the idea was if you can, the students can beat me in three weeks, what I did in five, five minutes, then um, they would get 100% on this uh, project. And so a lot of students did. It turns out it wasn't very hard to beat me. Um, here you can see I got 80% accuracy, and here the top players actually got 90% accuracy. That's, that's pretty significant. Um, this is actually the private leaderboard. There's also the public leaderboard, but it's, it's quite different here. Slumdog, Killionaire, thanks. And so here, 82% accuracy versus 87.5. <clears throat> and um, okay, so since then, though, students have challenged me. I want to see a screencast video of me actually training the classifier to see if I can really do it in five minutes. And so, sure, I can show you how to do this. Um, what I will do is I will actually use the tool called Valpol Rabbit. Valpol Rabbit is a classifier. Let me just search for this. Valpol Rabbit. So here you can see it's actually a classifier that's made by uh, John Langford. Uh, and he was at Yahoo, now he's at Microsoft Research. It's um, a very, very fast, uh, uh, very, very fast logistic regression classifier, but actually can do many, many things, square losses, many different loss functions. And it incorporates feature hashing. So you can just take words, stick them in, and it hashes them into the right bucket. So here's kind of the command line uh, description and so on. So uh, installing VW is very, very easy. You just uh, you know, pull it with whatever your brew or whatever your favorite uh, app get tool is. Um, OK, I can now get started. So let me just set a timer. I downloaded this timer, timer app. So I have five minutes. Let's go. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm downloading the data. This is now in download all. And I open all of it. And I uh, open all of it in Sublime as well. And good. So here's now the training and the test data. Um, what I do in the test data, I just need I just need to use the tweets. I don't use any of the metadata that I gave you guys. It turns out the metadata is actually really, really good. So this is how most people beat me, because they had the metadata. Um, for example, time of uh, day, when you tweet, that's a very, very, very good feature. Um, some people say that, you know, some people may be tweeting on the toilet. I don't know if that's true, if it is um, good for him. So here we go. Here's the training data, and now I've pasted that in. So we just have the label on the left and the tweet on the right. Um, for the test, we don't have this yet, so we kind of add a label like this. And then I just add a feature domain F. Uh, for the training data, um, I have still the tab. I don't like tabs. Tabs are for losers. So what I do is I uh, make this also a feature domain. Now, one thing I need to do is I need to change. Um, I have to remove characters that BW can't swallow. So for example, a column. Column would kill it because it would think that means a value. A dot is not a good idea. Exclamation point, backslash. I mean, these are generally. You should just remove these. Okay, here we go. A semicolon. How about this? I remove this too. And now the most important thing: I made everything lower case, lower case. Uh, here I make also everything lower case, and lower case. All right, good stuff. Now I have my files as I want them. Actually, I still have to remember remove the front line, the header. There should be no header. Okay, good. And here we go. With less three minutes left. Um, okay, good. So now I need to shuffle them in random order. Sort R, train, train R. Let's see that. Why not? Uh, uh, no, no. Am I kidding me? Brew, install sort. Okay, it has no sort installed. All right. Never mind then. Um, 
All right. Uh, sort. Okay, good. Sort r train dot cs train r dot csv. Wait, doesn't know why doesn't it sort sort? Uh, okay. Oh, I see. I, I see what's going on. I have to pipe it. Okay, good, 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 good. Um, and now I can run VW. So what I need to do is I train r dot csv. Uh, my loss function is logistic. My learning rate, how about one? Uh, passes, how about five? Um, I have to make a cache file. The final model I save as M. And I have, uh, think that's pretty good. Oh, see, how about initial T equals one? That's pretty good. Um, initial, here's a typo. Okay, good. And now I can say VW uh, initial the model. I think I call it M, yes. Then uh, T is the test.csv, the prediction going into output.csv. And uh, that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Ah, okay, here we go. I have a double T. Here we go. So uh, open output.csv. And here are my predictions, ladies and gentlemen. And now I can paste these into the sample file. And I still have a whole minute left, baby. Um, what I can now do, I can even be fancy. I wouldn't have to do this, but I'm just showing off that I have so much time left. Um, it was sign of this thing. And I can now convert them into uh, just raw signs here. And then I can edit paste uh, formula results. And now we have these wonderful predictions here. Um, and I can now do this, where I sample CSV, and I can replace this by a comma, and here is the file I need to upload. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm done. I can now upload this. Um, can I do a late submission? Um, upload files. Uh, up. Open. Here we go. I can just drag this in. Sample at CSV. And I make a submission. And I'm done. Two seconds left. All right. That was it. And here's the timer. <coughs> How was my submission? It was, yeah, okay. It didn't change, actually. <coughs> and that's all there is to it. So uh, the key thing is I just used Valpol Webit, and I used the logistic loss. I can now actually um, go back here. So initially, I just, uh, once I got the command line right, um, so the key thing is I, I made the training data in random format. I used logistic loss, learning rate one. You can probably do better than that. Uh, five passes over the data. That's just because my daughter is five, so I thought that's a good number. Uh, normally you would cross-validate this, but this was really just meant to be a, you know, a submission that you can beat, right? Uh, the dash C here just means create a cache file. You need this if you have multiple passes over the data. Dash F means save the model in the file that I just called M, terrible naming convention. And initial T just means that the first iteration is T. That's just how you set, how the learning rate decays. And uh, for testing, I basically say I start with my model M, I test this file, and these are my predictions. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the class. And how do I stop this video?